Hello everyone, I'm Paul McGuire Grimes. The new Netflix film Rustin can hopefully bring voice to civil rights icon Bayard Rustin and make its star Coleman Domingo a household name. It's now in select theaters and will be streaming on November 10th, and I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. The civil rights era will always be remembered for its pioneering leaders like Martin Luther King Jr., Medgar Evers, Malcolm X, and Rosa Parks. Bayard Rustin's name should always be thought of amongst them. In the film, Emmy winner Coleman Domingo seamlessly steps into Rustin's shoes. He was openly gay and sought change for the black community. He was best friends with Martin Luther King Jr., who was played here by Amal Amin, but saw King and the NAACP turn their backs on him fearing that his homosexuality and presence would deter the movement in place. Now that didn't stop Rustin, who saw that times were changing and knew something must be done. He gathered the young community around him and set out to create the largest peaceful protest in history. That became the March on Washington in 1963. The film also stars Audra McDonald, Chris Rock, Glenn Turman, Gus Helper, and Jeffrey Wright. Now, you may be wondering why Rustin's story hasn't been told on the big screen before, and I can't help but wonder if Hollywood didn't want to touch a movie about a black gay activist. Now, this could have been straightwashed or taken a very different angle, had it been made years prior. Under the direction of George C. Wolfe, who made Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, it can be told honestly to reflect the true Bayard Rustin. The film starts a little rushed, I think, in order to kind of set the scene and the era of the time. And within the first 10 minutes, we get images and reenactments of uh, people like Ruby Bridges, and then multiple timestamps with impactful moments in Rustin's life. Julian Brees and Dustin Lance Black are credited with the screenplay, which comes with the standard biopic check marks. You can almost feel the trajectory of where this was going and then the moments that would land. The story does eventually settle in to tell the creation of the March on Washington, instead of telling the whole Bayard Rustin biography. Now, I'm all for a focused approach when it comes to biopics, rather than kind of a sweeping recreation of the Wikipedia page. George C. Wolfe is an accomplished director of the stage and screen, and you can see his visual eye for story pictures coming into play. It's propelled by a distinct jazz score from Branford Marsalis to hit specific beats of the film. Wolf never shies away from Rustin's sexuality either, as we see his personal relationships with his boyfriend Tom, who's played by Gress Helper, to a secret affair and the effects that homophobia had on his fight for justice. Coleman Domingo is an absolute knockout, giving voice and fiery passion to Bayard Rustin. Domingo has been on Broadway, he won an Emmy for his work in Euphoria, and should be part of the Best Actor Oscar conversation. He has the power and the presence on screen needed for Rustin, and this film should lead to more starring roles for him. Bayard Rustin, just like Harvey Milk, demanded change and should be applauded for their work while living their true, authentic selves at a time when it wasn't allowed. Rustin, the film, demonstrates just that and reminds us of what can happen with a strong, passionate leader uh, who corrals the younger community to effect change. His name and legacy should not be forgotten. I'm giving Rustin three and a half out of five ticket stubs. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I have some of the movie reviews. And follow me on social media at Paul's Movie Trip. I'd love to hear from you. Have you seen Rustin? Give me your thoughts on this film and Coleman Domingo's performance. I'd love to hear from you. Paul's Trip to the Movies is brought to you by Imagine Theaters. Tickets are now on sale for Rustin, Killers of the Flower Moon, Taylor Swift's The Eras Tour is still playing in theaters, and Five Nights at Freddy's if you want something a little bit different. And tickets are now on sale for my movie series, Paul McGuire Grimes Presents. Just look for it on their website or in their app. Coming up November 26th, it's The Big Chill. And then we're going to close out the year December 17th with the Judy Garland classic, Meet Me in St. Louis. Now, I do a discussion after every screening, so it would be so great to see you there. Let's talk about these really great films, what they mean to us now, what it's like seeing them on the big screen. I'd love to see you there. So get tickets today and follow them on social media at ImagineMN. Thank you so much for watching my review of Rustin. This is Paul's trip to the movies.